Good morning guys and welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it's Saturday. It's been one heck of a week this week. We've had lots of poorly people. I'm not going to go too much into it because I know Zoe wants to talk to you. She's going to be vlogging a bit more about what's happened this week and who's been ill and uh, who's been off school, who's been off work and um, all that kind of stuff. And I'm, to be honest with you, I'm still not 100% and it's been, seen, it's been a week now. Um, I've, I've, I've had a, a norovirus. That's what I've had. Um, not the best thing I've ever had. I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit. Um, yeah, it's, it's, and it's not pretty either. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, um, we had loads of plans for doing stuff this weekend, like loads of plans. There's even, um, a Christmas fair down in Lossy Mouth we were going to go to tomorrow and vlog as well but now we're just going to go to the party tomorrow you're still good you're still going to your party because you're not poorly so you're okay i've got loads of parties you're not poorly oh i found tea yes. again how british am i so i normally drink like loads of coffee but i found i found tea because my stomach couldn't handle coffee um and i used to drink tea loads when i was little when i was younger um and i found tea again it's really nice so I've been drinking tea. I've been drinking tea and lemonade uh, and barely eating anything. So I'm trying to eat. I think I managed some chicken soup last um, night. Last um, week. Chicken soup and a piece of bread last night. Last week when you were little, you had a boomerang and you took the lemonade. You said that in the last vlog. Yeah. The, Basically, to clear it up, what she was saying was when I was little, my uncle and auntie brought me home a boomerang from Australia. They visited Australia. And um, I threw it and I could never get it to come back. So, and I threw it this one time and it was gone. So, that's what she's trying to say. That's lit. I, I totally told her about that the other week, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we had, I'm really disappointed because we had so much planned for this weekend. And you know what it's like? Anybody, anybody with illness knows that it just, it's all consuming and it just takes over everything you do. And mm -hmm. especially in a house as big as ours, if you get, if you get a bug in it, you've had it. You know what I mean? If you, especially if you get something like a, a norovirus or a vomiting Aww. bug or anything like that, you just you, it's just a write off for for weeks. So we we fear it like really badly. You know, if there's if there's a stomach bug going around or something like that, we're just right. Let's let's wrap the kids up in bubble wrap so nobody gets it. But I suppose the only saving grace really is afternoon, that, um, that we're having it now and not over Christmas. This afternoon, maybe Play-Doh. Yes, we're doing play So because we're stuck in this afternoon, yeah. we're stuck in now. I was gonna, I was, I was hopefully gonna get out, but we're we're, we're staying in anyway. So I'm I'm going through homework. So Agnes, yeah. Agnes is going to be doing her homework in a minute, aren't you? Yeah. Because you've got a couple of pages of homework to catch up on. I've got loads. And of the pages. twins need to do their reading. They haven't done their reading. Um. So I'm going to do a bit of that this morning. I know that. Um. Olivia and Isabel want to take Agnes and Florence down to the shop because we need to pick a few bits up because Olivia's going to a competition tomorrow. Yeah. She's got another dance competition, so she's away tomorrow. So Olivia's been hiding in her bedroom. Honestly, it's, it's been nuts. She's like, I am not getting ill. She's been hiding in her bedroom away from everybody. Um, <laughs> I'm still eating. <laughs> it's a nightmare, isn't it? I'm not sorry. Um, but one, another positive, uh, I've got the car fixed. So it took me about five days in the end to get it recovered. Got it recovered by the AA to, to the local garage I'm, um, and I'm, and I'm in Lossy because it was a starter motor that had gone. I'm starting. Um, it wasn't a battery at all. The battery's fine. It was a starter motor. Um, so it's been a bit of a bit of an expensive week this week as well. So I've got the car fixed, um, and obviously because I'm a contractor, um, I don't get paid <laughs> if I'm off ill. So it's just unfortunately part of contracting. Um, but there we go. You know, we'll have to rely on a bit of savings, that's all. So yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say at the moment. And I know that Zoe wants to do a bit of vlogging with you in a minute. Um, and obviously I've said the girls are going down to the shop. So it's just going to be one of those videos today. We'll just have to see how it all pans out. And then obviously these little crazies want to play, um, play, what do you want to play this afternoon? Play-Doh. Play-Doh. So we're probably doing a bit of Play-Doh, but um, for now I'm going to hand you over to Zoe. Yeah. Right, I'm, just, I'm in the bathroom because I've just been cleaning the bathroom and plus every other room in the house has got people in it wherever I go. 
Um, so recap on the week. The week's been, it's been a bit of a week, to be honest. Obviously, Ben has been home off sick all week, um, which, to be perfectly honest, I can't remember the last time he had that amount of time off work. The whole time he was in the RAF, um, I've never known him to have, you know, time. He might have had the odd day off and he might have had to have time off because of, you know, me sometimes, maybe if I've been ill or if I've had the, all the kids home ill, but very rarely has he been off sick. Um, so this week, obviously, he's been off sick, which he now doesn't get paid when he's um, off sick anymore. So we've kind of lost a week's wages, which is a complete pain. Um, obviously, as well, the car went his car broke down at work before he was off sick so that's been stuck at work all week which he has managed to get recovered and fixed now so that's it's just been a very expensive week um and then the, every time we thought he was getting better he'd stop being sick again and we're like oh, even now he's not and it's like a week later and he's still not quite quite right so missed out on a friday night chinese which i'm not overly impressed about um yeah it's just been a bit he's just been really poorly this week and then erin's been really poorly all week so she came down with something last last thursday night she wasn't 100 percent after she finished ballet i thought she doesn't seem quite she was really tearful friday morning she woke up she wasn't well and she's just deteriorated the whole week obviously i took her to the doctors on monday and they said it was viral which i wasn't convinced at and then she came out in a rash on um Tuesday was that Tuesday or Wednesday I can't remember if that was Tuesday or Wednesday now um it might have been Wednesday she came out with this rash all over her arms and her legs um and obviously her throat was really really bad she still had a temperature she was still hitting temperatures of just like 40.6 she quite often gets all my kids get really high temperatures um but it was coming down with cowpaw but and neuro and uh ibuprofen but it, then it was going back up again um so i wasn't convinced that whatever it was she had she was it, it was completely viral and she just didn't seem to be kicking it obviously it was six days she hadn't eaten really at all um and she wasn't drinking very much because it was hurting her throat so i phoned the doctors again on i'm pretty sure that was wednesday i phoned the doctors again and said that you know she was still really poorly um she had this rash and so they booked her in um for the following day so the thursday she went to see the doctor and the doctor said yeah she's she's got because her tonsils had so she's been waiting for a tonsillectomy for since before covid now she's been on the waiting list um and she still hasn't had it she still hasn't had her tonsils out she's got previous history of problems with her hearing and her ears and gluia at the moment she's her hearing is dreadful at the moment um she doesn't have an ear infection but she's got obviously got glue ear again so it's all built up behind her eardrums and she can't hear properly um she's had this <clears throat> the, the doctors now said it's bacterial um tonsillitis in her throat which got a bacterial infection in her throat is what the doctor said so now looking at cases of the strep cases um and her, the rash that she had, it looked a lot like scarlet fever. Um, but I, I mean, I'm not, a lot of people have said it looks like scarlet fever. I thought it looked like scarlet fever. Um, she's got, obviously got this infection in her throat, but she's, regardless, she's got antibiotics now. So it, whatever infection it was or is, she's got penicillin four times a day for like seven days. So that should kick it um, for whatever infection it is. But it just, you know, when I took her on Monday, they were kind of not dismissive, but a bit sort of shit. It's just viral. Everything's viral all the time. I'm. I don't. I don't take the kids to the doctors unless I really think they need to go to the doctors. I never have done. I don't sort of run there and, and for for ever, for anything. If it's something I think I can manage at home, then I'll manage it at home. You know, cowpole, whatever. And it's normally just a childhood. You know, they get they get all sorts of bugs all the time don't they kids um but most of the time they can just be managed at home i only take them to the doctors if i think it's really necessary but obviously with her being so poorly and it was like four days and she hadn't eaten anything that was definitely 
take her to the doctor sort of thing. But obviously the doctors were a bit like, yeah, it's just viral. You get, that's, that's the thing, you take them and it's always just viral, which it, it usually is just viral. But something said to me, my instincts kicked in and especially with Erin's background as well, obviously she's had sepsis in the past. Um, she's been very poorly as a baby. It, my instincts kicked in and said, this isn't, it's not just, it's not just a virus. There's definitely, especially when the rash came out, there's definitely something more to it. So I'm glad I kind of followed my instincts and didn't sort of just go, well, and hopefully it will, you know, it will just go away because it wasn't going to go away. And, you know, once it turns into a bacterial infection, all sorts of things can happen. Um, and that's where the complications arise. Anyway, she's got antibiotics. She is getting better. She's still, her throat is still sore. She's still not eating huge amounts, but she is, um, it's the first day really in, a, in like a week that she's been off the sofa. I've not seen her poorly like that since she was tiny. So it's been, that's been quite difficult this week. Um, especially when you don't feel like there's anything you can do for them. You know, she hasn't wanted to do anything. She's been really lethargic. She's just getting her to drink has been, has been difficult because her throat's been so sore. Um, it's just not, you know, you feel useless, don't you? Because there's just nothing that you can kind of do to make them feel better. And the medicine she's got now, the penicillin she's got, is disgusting. It's horrible, but she is taking it, bribing her with sweets afterwards, but she is, she is taking it. She is good at taking her medicine, but not like Leah, who's terrible. She won't even take alcohol. Anyway, she is looking much better. Ben, fingers crossed, is, is better. Um, but now, Leah's woken up this morning with a temperature, Joseph's got a temperature, Eva's not feeling well, and neither is Toby. <sighs> it's just endless. And Eva's really upset because she's got her Christmas concert next week. Toby's got his Christmas concert. The twins have got their nativity, and Agnes has got nativity next week. The older ones are hiding upstairs because Olivia's got a competition tomorrow. She doesn't want to miss it. She's going to Glasgow tomorrow, so she's she's hiding away from everybody. She doesn't catch anything. Um, I think this is either the third or fourth time that Joseph's been ill in the last four weeks. It's just been endless the last four weeks of just more and more illness. Um, it's just really difficult because it just kind of seems to just keep going around the house and I don't even know who's got what anymore. Um, so yeah, that's been the week. In fact, it's been the last four weeks really, to be honest. And it looks set to be, I don't even know how much longer. <laughs> just don't seem to be getting it. As soon as somebody gets better, if somebody else gets ill, um, Anyway, the rest of the week for me has just been, Chris, thank God for online Christmas shopping because online shopping, because I wouldn't have been able to get out and do loads of stuff. So I love online Christmas shopping. Most of my shopping has been done online, although we are going to Inverness next weekend. Um, we've got Noah's birthday coming up this week. Uh, and I can't think what else. I live away tomorrow. Just trying to keep people from being ill and getting on with all my Christmas stuff. I'm trying to get like Christmas presents done and Christmas cards written and all those sorts of things now ready for Christmas. I've got the Christmas t-shirts to print, um, Florence's Christmas sack to do, loads and loads of bits and pieces that need to be done. Um, and I get a little bit overwhelmed sometimes in the mornings because I'm like, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. I need to get my eyebrows done, I need to get my hair done. It's just, um, it can be quite overwhelming at this time of year, I think, for everybody because you kind of have a list of things that suddenly just appears and you think you've got lots of time but you haven't it all comes together in the end but there is just a lot that needs to be done you know obviously there's the food to buy there's the presents to wrap there's um a presents to buy there's cards to write there's all on top of your normal day-to-day -day cleaning and shopping and all that sort of stuff and then throw in some poorly children and some other curveballs and you know poorly husband <laughs> bless him he's been really ill and it's been really hard for, for you know for him as well because he hates just not being able to do anything um yeah throw those curveballs in and it just makes for a little bit more stress but anyway we're getting through it um we'll be fine we'll get there it'll be it'll be i just look forward to the time we can just have you know christmas off and all we'll just spend time together um but we're getting there so i've got to finish cleaning and then um this morning and then later on this afternoon, I've got to go out to Argos to pick up some stuff. Uh, but apart from that, today is just pottering about and doing bits and pieces, really. Um, so, yeah.
I did wrong like a s That's nearly right. It's a z, isn't it? Z. Don't say z. Boy, in America they say z. Don't they? It's not z. It's a z. It's z. So you need to you need to colour in the bumblebee as well. Yeah. We're gonna colour. What colours you gonna colour in the, the bumblebee? Pink. Give it to Pink. Me. Purple, you mean? A purple bumblebee. It's fine. Get this whatever colour you want. Okay. A purple bumblebee would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be pretty cool. So another thing we managed to get done this week, um, obviously a couple of Whoa. a couple of people about this big this? have reappeared. Look at yeah. This. So um, cool. who who've reappeared this week? Who come? At this. Who came back to the house? Who came back to the house this week? And they're they're red and they're about this big. Who came back to the house? Um, I can't remember. You do remember. Who came back? Do I? Don't know. Elf and Elfie. Yeah, the elves. The naughty elves are back. No, the silly elves, you mean. The silly elves. So, um... Silly, 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 silly. I managed, silly. I managed to get a bit of um, video. I managed to get a bit, of, a bit of video from day one. And I think... What day? What even day are we on now? Is it day three? I don't know. Anyway, I've got day a few. Three. I've got a few days yes, video. Yes, day three. I've got a few days video that I've managed to grab, and um, Whoa, also their red, red. advent calendars. Because if you, if you go back to our vlog our vlogs from last year, from last Christmas, um, we made um, we we made an advent calendar out of um, a spare bit of wood that I had and some hooks, and Zoe did up all the bags. Um, in fact, I'll show you now. Yeah, there you go. And there's chocolate coins that's in there. That's right. So that's the Christmas calendar. That's the Christmas countdown calendar, isn't it? That's what we made last there's, year. There's chocolate coins in there. And you've got milk-free chocolate coins, haven't you? Yeah. For yours. The shiny gold ones. That's it. Why is pencil? So yeah, we've been doing the um, obviously been doing the advent calendar as well, which has been a lot of fun. So um, what I've done is um, I've put a bit of video together just to show you how the last couple of days have gone regarding that. At least we've had some fun. Do you know what I mean? At least we've had some fun in amongst all the illness and everything else but um yeah so i'll show you that now
Wuh, 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 wuh. So we're doing the words now. Wuh, 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 Yeah? Is that your phonics when you do that? Wuh, wuh. Yes, phonics is for letters. Yeah. So that's right. Do do a wuh all the way along. Yeah? Is it for numbers, animals or letters? Okay. So do that's it. Copy the word. That's it. That's good. And what colour are you going to do there? Is that a cloud? Yes, the the what? Oh, okay. Wasn't that good? So yeah, we did we did manage to have some fun um, this week. Banana, um, banana. Yeah, and uh, Elfie and Elfie are back in force, um, at least for the for the next twenty days anyway. Because what's coming soon? Mm. Santa. Santa's coming soon, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know what Santa looks like. <laughs> Bless Zoe, she's still trying to keep everything, she's still trying to keep on top of everything. Um, yeah, still, still trying to get everything sorted out uh, for Christmas and ah! sick people and everything Christmas else. Christmas sick people. She, always, she always pulls it off. But Erin's better. Who's? Erin's better. Erin's Aaron. a bit better, isn't she? She's yeah. almost there. We haven't got, obviously we haven't been actually, swimming. Yeah, and actually Erin's nearly there. Yeah, obviously we haven't been swimming. Um, for the last three weeks now, um, for one reason or another. Yeah. Um, but the swimming pool are okay without us. We've I phoned them this morning and just explained what's going on. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah. Hi. I didn't know you were vlogging in here. Yes, we're vlogging. We're always vlogging. I've got tea now. Okay. Okay. Right, have you finished uh, that one? Yeah. Remember that. Ah, oh, there you go. It's a colourful bee, isn't it? Right, hang on, hang on. So you've got, you've got that one to do on the back now. What, what's the sound? Ng. Ng. It makes a little bit of a g sound. It does. Is that a strong man lifting up weights? Yeah. But wait. Doesn't rhyme, but mm, strong. Strong. Yeah, strong, strong. Mm. Okay. I know how to make a gut. He, he got like this, and then under the line. Yeah. Right. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a bit more homework with this little one, yeah. and then I'm going to do a bit of reading with the twins. Um, but I think what I'm doing reading with the twins, um. You're going to go for a walk to the shops, aren't you? With your yeah. Sister. Yeah. So I will leave you in the capable hands of Isabel and Olivia. And see you in a minute. Yeah. So me, Agnes, Olivia and Florence are off to the shop this morning because we're going out for a walk, aren't we? Yeah. We have to go get some bread and cat biscuits. Yeah. So we're just coming to go for... Foods. Agnes is running over here. Agnes, come back. Come back, Agnes. We got Florence. We got Florence over here. She's all readied up. I don't know if you can see her. Hello. Say hi. So we just got off to the shop to go and get some bread. Yeah. And You're going to go down to the shop? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, these, all of the leaves fall off the trees. They all fall off the trees. Mum, just stop. Not right now, at the end of the road. Yeah. Check the cars. Well then. Can you go get some one one piece of bread then? Yeah. Oh, I want the no, not the green one. Why? Get the Santa one. Why? I want the reindeer one. That one's really thick. We get the Santa one. 
Two. Just one. Do you want to carry it? Yeah. No. We don't need any milk today. Cat biscuits is next one. No, not this one. Yep. That's cat meat. Do you want to come over here? You've not got a dog. Come here. Do you know which one it is? It's the yellow one. Yep. There's no line. Find it and then scan it. Where's mine? I saw them. Cat biscuits. Oh, there it is. I love Jay Twitter. I swear. I'm not from New Devon, it's just her. Go on then. Finish at the shop, we've got everything we need, don't we? Cat yeah. biscuits, crisps, and what was the thing? Bread. Yeah, we've got everything now. We're just gonna yeah. walk home and we're gonna go and finish our homework stuff yeah. that Agnes used to do. Right, so now I'm back with Erin. Aren't I, Erin? Let's just move the camera slightly. There you go. How are you feeling? Uh -uh. She's been so poorly this week. It's been quite worrying actually, but she's on penicillin now. Oh yeah, you want that horrible medicine from the doctors? Yeah, she doesn't like taking it. She's got to have a sweetie every time she takes it, and you need to get rid of the horrible taste. It's not nice. Whatever happened to banana medicine? That banana medicine you used to get as kids is really that was really nice. But they get this horrible orange stuff now, don't you? It's not very nice. So we're going to do a bit of reading, aren't we? Yeah, a bit of reading. Is it your turn to do a bit of homework now? Yeah, yeah. after this we might play play doh. They all want to play Play-Doh. It's one of those things that um, I haven't done it for a while, actually. Um, but they all want to play Play-Doh now because obviously we've got um, we're starting to stuck in the house day. So we'll do a bit of uh, we'll do a bit of Play-Doh. So do do these letters. No, don't do those. We'll just read this one, right? So so count count the ducks first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What does that say? Ten ducks. Ducks. Next one. Ten ducks swim swim on a big pond. Well done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And big frog. It's a a big green frog. Green frog. He's a big frog, isn't he? The big green frog sits on a log. The so that's then. And then the frog jumps it. Into into the pond. Splash. He land lands with a at. So what's that? That's ow, isn't it? Ow. ow. Low. 
sebelas the ten ducks flap off and the dog had the big pond to himself. Well done. That's good, wasn't it? Yeah? High five. Good reading. Right, I'm going to carry on doing a bit of homework with Erin and then I'll catch up with you in a bit. Say bye, Erin. Bye. Right, we've had lunch. Yeah. So what are we doing now? Play-Doh. We're playing Play-Doh. Here we go. Right, girls, so we've been playing Play-Doh for about an hour now, haven't we? Yeah. yeah? So what have we made in the middle? Seaside. The seaside. Right, so I want you to point out to everybody at home what the little bits are, yeah? And tell them what they are. Play-Doh. Yeah, I know it's Play-Doh, but tell people at home what they are. This is a starfish. Yeah. This is grass. Yeah. This is the sand. That's a starfish. And then that's an octopus, that's seaweed, that's a starfish, and, and then that's, that's a beach, that, that's sea. a cake, that's a um, cave, a skate, a seaboard, uh, no, a surfboard, isn't it? Surfboard, and then a play map, this term, what's that? Uh, I think that was supposed to be a dolphin, wasn't it, Agnes? <coughs> no, a it's dolphin. a slide. Oh, is it? Yeah, a slide, and... A cave. That's all right. And a shell. And a Christmas tree. So we've got shells on the rocks. Christmas tree. We've and got we've a got snail. Shells. We've, we've got, got pebbles. A Christmas tree. That's seaweed. Secret That's an octopus. And we've and that's a fish and thing. We, and we've nailed. And Daddy, we've got, we've got a Christmas tree. And Agnes made a Christmas we've got tree. A for the beach. Yeah. A shark that's just smashed my basket. The <gasps> shark just smashed my basket. And then we've got, what else we've got? SpongeBob. We've got a mat. SpongeBob. Sand, surfboard, starfish, sea. Everything starts with S, doesn't it? I'm never surfish. Right, so have we had fun? Yeah. Lots of fun? Yeah. yeah. Are you happy to play Play-Doh? Yeah. Good stuff, right. Because guess what I'm going to say now? Tidy up. Tidy up time. No. Yes, it is. We're going to no. tidy up and then we're going to come back on the video after, okay? No. Okay. Yes, we are. No. <laughs> right, guys, that's it. That's it. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, Zoe's just nipped out to Smith's and to Argos. Uh, to pick an order up for Christmas. Um, it's pretty much getting dark now. I seem to be losing my voice. <laughs> I seem to be losing my voice faster and faster today. So I'm going to wrap the video up. We had a, we had a really nice time actually playing Play-Doh. I, I dread getting Play-Doh out because it takes us like 40 minutes to tidy up afterwards, but the kids love it. So it's well worth it, isn't it? You know, for a little bit of mess. 
So that's it guys, I uh, really hope you enjoyed the video today. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Please hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below and on our channel homepage for Facebook, 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 Instagram and TikTok. And um, we'll just have to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna get up in the morning, see how everybody is, um, probably judge a day from then on. Um, but for now, that's it. So I'll see you tomorrow.